hello in this module we will see how to work on r to analyze data from case control study here we will see how to work with adjusting the covariates as a subset for case control study we will see how to work with especially generate kendall tau informations from case control study one of the important area in case control study is the testing of the diagnostic tool where new diagnostic tool is being used to find out uh, the true positive and true negative informations that the patient is having disease or not that is called sensitivity and specificity so to work with sensitivity and specificity the emerging tool is the roc curve in this module we will see how to generate non parametric estimate of roc curve how to get empirical roc curve through r we will also see in this module uh, there are so many complexity for case control study in earlier module we have seen uh, odds ratio and how to calculate reality breaks but in this module we will see some other uh, way to how to handle case control studies data so here we will see uh, how to calculate the contributions of a subset of covariates how to calculate the kendall tau b value how to get non parametric area under the roc curve and how to compute the empirical roc curve for a diagnostic tool so um, here we will see first uh, how to calculate the con uh, contribution of a subset of covariates to the explained reality breaks derived from the full cox proportional hazard model here we will see uh, and use the library clean fund and library survival as i have seen in earlier modules that uh, library survival is useful to run the survival analysis especially for cox proportionals uh, hazard model and uh, with serve functions as well but here we will calculate the relative breaks through um, cox proportional hazard functions here and here we will uh, see one data set from the library called survival and uh, data is on cancer data cancer treatment data in case control study there are so many um, way or so many complexities are present to analyzing data uh, in this module we will try to attempt few uh, way uh, or light, uh, we will try to put some lights uh, to on some methods to analyzing the data and uh, that will help you for further uh, case control studies analysis as well so let's come to their functions here here we are going for uh, functions cox ph and this cox ph function is is uh, available in the library called survival and uh, these two functions two libraries are used here that is clean fun and survival library survival here first and into this parenthesis given as cox ph we give the uh, function called capital a c u r v sub functions and uh, within parenthesis again we put a few time that is follow up time and a few stat that is follow up status of the patients and these uh, things has been model for the covariates called age and uh, that is mentioned as small a g e in addition to the another covariates considered here as a rc dot ds that is residual disease is present or not and after that rx is assigned as in that what kind of treatment is given here uh, if you go to the library survival and after that if you call the data over here we will get the details uh, features about the uh, factors uh, or covariates mentioned here we are not going into details about these uh, factors here but uh, in addition to the rx we also also consider another factor that is called ecog.ps that also available in the data set over here and after that we had assigned that data equals to over here uh, and the whole functions uh, programs is assigned to over here fit now our intention is to find out the relative breaks as i mentioned these earlier models the relative breaks 
is um, given the idea or is the uh, proportion of disease among exposure with respect to proportion of disease uh, among non exposure uh, and we have seen the um, uh, function to calculate direct relative breaks here we are calculating relative breaks with respect to covariates here it is to be mentioned that here the covariates are considered are age recid dot ds rx and ec og dot ps so four factors four covariates are here and uh, four factors having among these four factors uh, except age three factors li like recid dot ds rx and ec og dot ps is having categorical variable and they are also the like recid dot ds is having discrete variable 1 and 2 rx also having discrete variables like uh, 1 and 2 like given treatment and ecog dot ps also having discrete variable like uh, 1 2 3 4 so here the base numeric base value like if in case of recid dot ds numeric base value 1 is considered as a reference category in case of rx also uh, one is considered as a reference category and in case of ecog dot ps also this uh, reference category is considered as one and uh, now we are coming to the numerical variable that is age it is since age is considered as a continuous variable so um, here the the interpretation about relative breaks will be with respect to uh, smaller age group what is happening to the higher age groups now when we are calling that uh, functions called cox pH ERR that function is available into clean fund library not in the survival library this uh, function is available in clean fund when we are putting this cox pH ERR that is expected relative degrees and within parenthesis when we are putting ovary and feet and putting enter then as a result we are getting the expected relative degrees value as a 0.68 with standard error with 0.125285 so here we will consider only two decimal place so here if we consider the relative breaks value is 0 0.68 with is uh, confident uh, standard error 0 0.12 this standard error can be used to calculate the 95 percent confidence intervals with these relative breaks so as a measure we can see uh, that uh, the individuals having relative breaks for dying is 68% uh, 68.41% 68 for those are having higher age groups those are having treated with residual with uh, 2 and those are having treated with rx2 and as well as having higher uh, performance status uh, this is the basic statistical inference about that here for inter uh, illustration we have considered four factors like age residual disease rx and ecog dot ps but uh, here we can consider only one factor also like rx if we consider only rx as a right hand side and left hand side consider as a serve a few time and a few status then we can find out what is the relative breaks of uh, of getting die uh, by who those are treated with rx2 with reference to rx1 the same thing is happening again uh, when we are putting cox ph err within parenthesis ovary and feet comma c 1 to 4 that is giving us the for first four individuals relative breaks and it's saying that these first four individual relative breaks were quite lower in comparison to all individuals and it's saying that expected relative breaks is coming 0.40 with standard error 0.19 so this standard error can be used to getting the confidence interval of the estimate of the uh, relative breaks now we will go to this next uh, way to calculate the next functions now we will go to next uh, data uh, that is also available in this uh, library called survival that primary bdd zero sys data is used here we are not going to show the whole data set you can uh, call the survival library and after that uh, call the data pbc here the first five individuals uh, data we are showing here with the snapshot uh, taken from the r uh, that uh, pbc one to five which in comma and completion of the bracket 
it is showing that uh, the first in the first 5 id as 1 to 5 time was like 400 4500 that is observations time of those uh, individuals and status is giving as a 2 0 and 1 so here also the zero present that uh, they are censored and one present they died and two present they died due to some other reason and again treatment one and two given what kind of treatment is given present by one and two age also given in uh, 50 like for the first individual is 58.76 second 56.44 like that here six uh, is mentioned as a for m so a for female and m for male now the other biochemical parameters like acidicities given as uh, presence or absence given as 1 and 0. So if it absent then it represent as 0, if it present then it represent as 1. Hepatological parameters is given as again 1 and 0. So hepatology presence or absence, spiders and other parameter again given as 1 and 0. Edema and level of edema was given as 1, 0 and 0.5 bilirubin level was also given 14.5 1.1 like second individual third individual 1.4 cholesterol measurements also given here another variable the albumin second next one copper next one alkyne phosphate ast triglyceride platelet protein stage all these variables are considered said the meaning is to um, uh, this is the typical uh, kind of data set uh, present in any case control study. So now question is that uh, how these factors like all these biochemical parameters contributing towards their long survival or not that need to be find out. So here in this data set we will we'll select few covariates or few factors from this data set and we will check how to get the relative risk estimations from this data set. So we are going for next slides before that this is the summary of these parameters. Again, summary of PVC when we put, uh, we are getting this uh, summary information about the all variables, covariates here. Uh, this is again snapshot taken from the R studio and uh, this ID time, status, TRT, A, sex, acidities, hepato, spiders, edema, bilirubin, cholesterol, albumin, copper, alkyne phosphates, AST, triglycerides, platelet, protein and stage is given here. So, this you can see this what is the minimum and maximum observation for each variable and what is the mean and median measurement for each variable. I am not going in details on to that. Now, we will go to see this functions to getting the relative breaks. So, here this functions to, to, to contribute these survivals uh, on the covariates. So, again we are calling the data PVC and after that PVC fit and use the cox page functions again like same other earlier functions we are again putting serve of time and status and status 2 is considered here with treatment and log of copper so comma pbc and as a subset those are treated with more than uh, treatments coded as 0 1 and 2 so those are coded more than 0 is being considered here and copper again those are treated more than 0 copper we are considered as a subset functions here so now we are trying to put this uh, measurements as a plotting so we are putting the plot of log pvc of copper those are having treatment greater than zero and copper also greater than zero and another axis we are putting pvc of time uh, the same condition is given here pvc of treatment greater than zero and copper greater than zero on the type of line we are putting into the common so pch there are so many options here we are putting O and X options and uh, when you are putting uh, the X lab so as a X lab we are putting the log of copper value and Y lab we are putting the survival times now next we'll next slide slide we'll see the graph before uh, producing the graph um, we are also using the functions Cox pH quantiles uh, to get the quantiles information quantiles estimates into the graph only not only that only the quantiles we are also putting these uh, quantiles with another color for uh, for uh, 75 percent quantile so first cox pH quantiles uh, will give us the uh, first quantiles 
and uh, seventy-five percent quarter of that is third quartile um, will be will be obtained by second function that is Cox Beach Quintiles on the same data that is in both case into the Cox Beach Quintiles we have used the PBC fit and and we are putting these functions we are giving with different color and for the second one we are putting color equals to two and since the first one we didn't put any color so it will give us a by default color again we we, we put the cox ph quantile uh, pvc and pvc again we have seen the earlier how to put the cox ph let's see the graphs this is the graph since we didn't put any color for the uh, first quantiles function so we are getting by default the black color and for the second quant uh, that is for 75 percent quartiles we put the red color uh, color equals to 2 cul equals to 2 so we are finding as a red color the quantile distributions we can see here where the quantiles are lying here and uh, again uh, the scatteredness of the log copper with the survival time can be seen here that is basically obtained by the uh, model fitting criteria here and we can see that uh, there is a uh, there is not any specific tendency among uh, log copper with the survival times it can be it can be represent those who are having higher log copper they are having higher survival times that can be somehow can be managed uh, from these graphs but obviously some any specific tendency not been found here now we'll go for next uh, objective that is uh, to obtain the candle tau estimate and here the candle tau is uh, candle A and candle B. Here we will go for candle B estimates. Uh, this to maintain mention that in any case control study, our intention sometimes becomes to find out the relation between factors. This is not the direct link up to our, our establishment with these covariates uh, with response variable. Here, we, but when we are find out trying to find out or explore relations between two covariates, then we go for candle tau. B estimates obviously uh, correlations that is Pearson's correlations coefficient is suitable for that but uh, the limitation of Pearson's correlations coefficients is that uh, when you have to get the uh, high huge number of sample size but in case control study generally uh, sample size becomes very less in that case Kendall tau becomes more useful than Pearson's correlations coefficients however both having the same characteristics uh, here the candles uh, tau b is having range between minus 1 to plus 1 so if we are planning to find out the relation between two factor like here you have seen this platelet and albumin or platelet or alkyne and uh, if you want to find out the relation between two continuous variable and finding that candle tau b value coming to 0 then we can interpret that there is not any relation between these two variable if candle tau value coming near to one then we can interpret that there is a strong associations between two variable whereas candle tau value comes near to minus one can be stated that there is a negatively association between two variable so but here we are not uh, using any uh, specific uh, variable uh, to to illustrate you we are using uh, two two variable that is uh, x and y that is generated from normal distributions with 1000 normal distribution data x and 1000 normal distribution y has been generated and we want to find out the uh, between correlations between these two variables so uh, see here x is has been obtained from r of norm one ten thousand if we want to put the only simple Pearson correlations then if we put COR within parenthesis X and Y then we will get the Pearson's correlations coefficients value but here in this library called clean fund we are using the core of COR with X and Y and after that putting method equals to uh, K within inverted comma and that uh, giving us uh, that uh, the Kindle tau beta estimates and uh, here we are getting the value as a 0.49 so it can be stated that there is a positive correlation between x and y so that can be again used in other parameter also other covariance parameter also uh, we'll see uh, in future and uh, there's a command giving and y uh, is obtained x plus 
R norm 10,000. So obviously there is a, uh, uh, there must be good relations between X and Y. Now we will go to next objective that is uh, to find out the area under ROC curve. This is to be mentioned that ROC is a, is a production of uh, two parameters, indicators specifically that is one is sensitivity and other one is specificity. Uh, sensitivity is used to find out the true positive value among the among the individual. So, sensitivity is a specifically a diagnostic tool uh, to detect the individual having how many positive cases and uh, the, the sensitivity as much as high it can be stated that the diagnostic tool is as good as to detect uh, true positive value it do not consider the negative value and as well as this diagnostic tool is uh, when it is find out as good as false true negative value basically then it is called good specificity value. So, it, it is to be expected that a um, diagnostic tool having wonderful specificity that is 100 percent sensitivity as well as 100 percent specificity. So, now the there is a cutoff between uh, the sensitivity and specificity. So, when we are uh, proceeding in a trial and we are finding trying to find out that how the diagnostic tool uh, working and uh, then these uh, cutoff between sensitivity and specificity give us the informations the how this diagnostic tool perform. So, that cutoff area can be obtained by the ROC curve and can be stored, uh, stated as the area under ROC curve. So, as much as area under ROC curve is there the diagnostic tool can be inferred as the best uh, diagnostic tool. Here we also uh, as an illustration purpose we are, uh, we are, we are generating data and uh, from X uh, as a normal distributions uh, as R norm of 100 plus G and again G is, G is taken as a replicates of 1 to 50 and Y again considered as R from R normal with 100 again G and Z is uh, again distributed obtained from the normal distribution. So, here we are having 3 variable X, Y, Z and most of them uh, and 3 of them highly high, high correlated. Now, see that functions that is ROC dot area dot test and when we are putting the C bind of X, Y comma Z. So, we are trying to find out here the, uh, the, the, the relations between X and Y. Uh, uh, for truly detecting between sensitivity and specificity with uh, and the marker 2 uh, as a result we are getting 2 markers with AOC as 0.73 and 0.82. So, it is a, it's a uh, measurement of yeah, of sensitivity first measurement is coming as uh, sensitivity measurement is coming as a 73.48 percent whereas, uh, specificity measurement coming as 82.04 percent. So, now, when you are we are putting this test statistics is obtained that there is not any significant difference between the two diagnostic tests. So, again this can be again used in this another uh, in real life scenario these functions and this function is available in the ROC this function is called ROC dot area dot test it is available in this uh, library called clean fund and uh, it is open source software R is available for to analyze this. Uh, this uh, area under curve. Now, we will uh, see this uh, another one and that is uh, relations between these three markers that is x, y, z. Now, again this relation is coming with uh, significance p uh, not significant p value that is 0.23. So, it is again saying that uh, both of them both three are having equal information. So, they are highly correlated. So, so, these three markers is having a working in better oh, same way. Now, in last uh, we, are, we are trying to find out the generate new variable that is y1 and is y1 is a production of uh, y uh, with addition to this 0 0.75 with g and when we are putting x with y1 we are getting this two markers a c curve is coming 0 0.7348 to 0.938 test statistics value is 3.71413 with p value uh, highly significant. So, now there is a significant uh, difference between these two marker value. Now, we will plot these ROC curves here against the earlier functions we have used that is 
to generate the x from the normal distribution that is r norm 100 with g and y r norm 100 with 1.5 with g and again we are put using the function roc dot curve with x comma g and pl uh, putting plot of o and uh, these lines are given here now we will see the this is a simple functions here uh, and this is results empirical roc curve so first line the red lines are for the sensitivities and the blue black lines is for the specificity and the common area between um, these two line these two line is started to uh, touch uh, in near to point 0.1 and again they started to touch in point 0.9 so into this area that can be called as uh, AOC area specifically and this curve is called the ROC curve and here the uh, x axis showing the false positive rate and the y axis showing the true positive rate. So, when we are having in a case control study and we are trying to find out the diagnostic methods that doing how they are doing uh, with each other, then we can plot the ROC curves with these functions. End of this here, we have seen how to generate uh, uh, relative bricks uh, through Cox PS functions. We have seen how to uh, get the idea about the Cox PH with. Uh, with, with another uh, another data set we have seen uh, how to um, get the uh, kind of uh, tau b estimates from the covariates and we have seen how to get the roc uh, test value and generate the aoc value as well as empirical roc now here we have seen how to generate kindle tau B from case control study data. However, here we have used uh, normal distributions to generate data, and after that we have used Kendall Tau. But in real case controls data also we can uh, apply these uh, functions mentioned here to obtain the Kendall Tau value. In this module, we have also seen how to work with covariates adjustment for subset, how to get relative rates in case control study. Here we have also seen how to work with new diagnostic tool and as a product generate the non-parametric estimate of ROC curve. Here we have seen how to work with R to generate empirical ROC curve. 